Hi, in this video I'll show you a quick overview of my personal blender render farm. It, everything is basically inside this server case which I managed to get. And if I go ahead and open it, everything that consists of the render farm is here. It is mainly made out of two HP ProLiant um, DL360 Gen 7 or something like that. They're both running some dual Xeons, making a total of 48 threads, although they're quite old, so not as powerful as some of the other hardware nowadays. There's also a very old Dell laptop over there, which might not do much, but everything adds up. And finally, some two quad-core uh, computers, as well as a, as a switch. Sorry, the switch is here. <laughs> as well as a router and a, Sai, a Sally Crew Sai, just in case the electricity were to go out. Now, it's not the most neat cable management. And just to clear out, no, this bar is not holding the server. This one's actually free. It's just in case the backplate were to fail, so it just won't fall into everything, just in case. And now, if I go ahead and close this, and go into my desktop. Sorry, it's all a very big mess. I haven't had much time to clean up. Here I have what I would call my master node, which is the computer that controls the rest. I am using Crowd Renderer's Atom, so a big shout out to them. And here I basically have all the computers which I showed you just in that inside that server rack. Furthermore, I went ahead and did some math, although it turn out not to be what I wanted to do, so I had to do it again, to eventually get some ratio figures, so that I could now go here into edit load balancing and make sure that each one got the correct amount of work. Now it's as simple as hitting render still, and it should render. It's basically an enlarged cube, each one will get a small piece of the render frame to do. And it should finish so in around 15 seconds at 64 samples. Took a bit longer, 18 seconds. It does vary a bit, sometimes takes more, takes less, but overall it is not very you know good, like at least compared to some other render farms with RTX 2080 Ti's or anything like that. But hey, it was a fun project nevertheless and at least I've been able to give some use to all computers and servers I had laying around, so... Um, this is everything for the overview video. I will make a second one explaining in much more detail how I made this, in case you also wanted to. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching.